Hey y'all, did you know that culinary historians have traced the origins of eggnog back to British medieval days? Mm -hmm, that's right. It was called a drink or it's derived from a uh, punch called Passet, Passet, Posse? No, that's not right. Look right here. P-O-S-S-E-T. And it was made from a warm milk that was curdled with an alcohol like beer or wine. Mm -hmm. Monks in medieval Europe even put their own fancy and bougie twist on it by serving it with figs and eggs. Sounds delicious, right? Let's make some. Since we were talking about Christmas in England and we're still there, so to speak, here where we live, I thought we would make the modern version, not that medieval version. That really doesn't sound too appetizing to me. So, are you ready? Yeah, I made some notes. Let's go. Hey everybody, welcome back to my modern homestead. If you are new here, and there's a lot of you that are, welcome, my name is Janet. And today we're going to do something that has intimidated me forever. And today I'm conquering those nervous, jittery fears of getting this wrong. Because y'all, in the old church we used to go to, someone there would make homemade eggnog. Oh y'all, that was so good. But I've just always been intimidated by it until I found Chef Jean-Pierre on YouTube. <laughs> y'all, he's a professional chef, but I was watching his video where he was making eggnog, and he messed up his own eggnog. He boiled it when he wasn't supposed to, and it still was okay. So I said, okay, we can do this. I can make eggnog, even if I mess it up some. So guess what? You can too, and we're going to do it together. Let's look at what we need to make it. Okay, the first thing we need is two cups of whole milk. And I'm using organic, but use what you can. This is one cup of heavy cream. And I have six eggs. I don't have them here because we're going to do that together. But they're at room temperature. They're actually eggs from my eggs out of the chicken coop. And then we're going to need two-thirds cup of sugar divided. So I have one cup, oh, excuse me, one-third cup here and one-third cup here. Then we're going to need one-fourth teaspoon of cinnamon and a pinch of salt plus one-fourth teaspoon of ground nutmeg. And when possible, I like to grind my own nutmeg. Is that not pretty, y'all? Oh, that's gorgeous. And Chef Jean-Pierre loves Tahitian vanilla. And while I think Tahitian vanilla is good, it has more of a fruity flavor to me. So I prefer to use the Madagascar bourbon vanilla. And I do make my own. I just take vanilla beans, put them in the bourbon, leave them for six months, just however long I need to leave them. And there we go. We got vanilla. So there's that. Now, I don't drink, but if you wanted to, you could add bourbon and rum to this. But I'm not. I guess if you really wanted to, you could add uh, a rum extract. So anyway, this is made with bourbon, so you're going to get that hint of that warmness from it. Now, the first thing we need to do is to put these two in a pot and get them warming. Actually, you know what? Before I do that, I'm going to grate up this nutmeg. It's just so simple, y'all. You just get a microplaner, take the nutmeg, nut, Oh, it smells so good. And you just grate it. That's it. It's so quick, so easy, and it tastes so much better than what you can buy in the store. Now, if you can't find these nuts, you can, of course, just buy it already ground. It'll be okay. It's not that much difference. And I like to do it in a separate bowl so I don't do too much and I can measure it. There we go. Those are a little extra in there. Whoops. I'm just going to go ahead and add it. Nobody will know, right? I guess unless you don't like nutmeg. Oh, and hey, speaking of that, if you don't want to add these spices, then no. It's okay. Sure, eggnog. Make it your way. All right. Let's get these in a pan. Well, y'all, I promise we are going to get this milk and cream in a pan 
but I like to go ahead and have everything ready to go. And so I need to do the eggs first. Let's do that. But look at that. Cinnamon, nutmeg, a little bit of salt, and the sugar. Mm, that looks like yumminess about to happen right there. Okay. Now here I have an egg separator. It's not necessary. You can just use your hands. So if you don't have one, don't sweat it. I'm just going to crack my eggs. I'm going to put the yolks in this blue bowl. Excuse me, no, I'm not. I'm going to put the whites in this bowl. And be very careful not to get the yolk down in there. Let's put the yolks in here with the sugar. And we'll keep going. Hallelujah, y'all. I got all those done without getting the egg yolk down into the whites. These, like I said, they are farm fresh eggs. So sometimes they just want to be a little difficult. Yeah. There we go. All right. Here we go. Now let's pour the milk into our pan and our cream. And we're going to bring this up to a soft boil and we're going to move this thermometer just a bit to where it's down in the milk but not touching the bottom or the sides of the pan. Perfect. Okay, let's get it on the stove. Here we go. And I'm just going to turn this for now just between low and medium, just so we can get the other things done over here. Okay, while that is warming, I'm just going to take the yolks and the sugar and cream them. Yep, I'm doing it by hand. Now because these are farm fresh eggs, we're never going to get a really light color. Just make sure they're good and creamy and that they do turn lighter. It may not be showing on camera, but these are much lighter than when we started. I'm going to add in our vanilla. We need one tablespoon. Mm, that smells so good. This is going to be so good, y'all. Mm. Isn't that pretty? Now, when this comes up to temperature, we're going to temper these. That means we're just going to add a little bit of, a, of the hot milk at a time and stir like crazy so that we don't cook the yolks. We just want to warm them up so that we can pour them into the milk. While I have a few minutes, I'm going to go ahead and start whoops, beating the egg whites, or not beating, but whisking. You can do this with a whisk and a stand mixer. It'll probably be quicker and easier, but oh well. Who said I like to do things the easy way? It's just more stuff to clean up. We're going to beat these until they turn completely white, and then we're going to add in the sugar. We're almost there. You want to keep beating until you no longer see any tint of yellow. But as you can see, these are nice and foamy, but there is still just a tint of yellow. So we're just going to keep going. I am guessing because these are farm fresh eggs, this isn't going to turn that pure, pure white that you really want. But as you can see, 
They are really thick already. We're not to a soft peak yet, but we're not too far away. Okay, I am afraid to keep mixing these. I don't want it to get to a soft peak before I add the sugar. Sometimes it would pay to be a chef or to have a chef <laughs> in your house. Hey, chef. Do I stop here and add sugar or do I keep going? Dollar chef. That ought to be a thing. I'm calling it sugar's going in. Oh, my fingers are stiff. <laughs> I think I should have gotten a bigger bowl. Oh well. That's what the first times are for. Gotta learn somehow. And at this point, we do keep beating until we get a soft peak. Okay, I just transferred these to a bigger bowl. I was afraid in that small bowl, I wasn't able to whisk them well enough to get enough air into them. So hopefully this will work. Ooh, the thermometer's not right. Oh well. Let's get our egg yolks tempered. The thermometer didn't even stay, it was at a soft boil. So to do this, let's take just a little of our milk and cream and we're going to slowly incorporate it into the yolks as we whisk. I was coming to show you the egg whites. I think they're as close as we're going to get them because <laughs> my arm's tired. Whoa, well, that wasn't slow, Janet. Good gracious. Alrighty. going to put this back on the eye. Okay. Now at this point it didn't say to. But I'm adding the spices into this because it didn't say when to add them. <laughs> we're just going to let this cook for a minute. It didn't say how long but just don't bring it back to a boil. There we go. No, those are just bubbles. <laughs> I thought I had chunks in there. Not what you want in your eggnog. And nasty. Is that better? There we go. Sorry about that. Forgot I didn't have it on. Okay, I'm just going to leave this on low for just a few minutes and get some of this mess cleaned up. <laughs> okay, I came over here to show you our egg whites. They've been hanging out for a minute. And that's, that's what we've got. <laughs> Not quite, but it's good enough, isn't it? Yeah, that's good enough. Okay, I see steam coming up off of this. And a few little bubbles so I'm going to let it cook just a minute I'm not going to walk away because we don't want it to boil but I'm going to give it just a minute because those could just be air bubbles popping 
when I know it's good and hot, and we'll take it off the stove. Yeah, I can tell those are not air bubbles just popping. Okay, let's go ahead and take it off the stove. It's a lot of spices, isn't it? I just went by the recipe, y'all. We can always adjust it next time. And I would say, if you're going to make this, go ahead and do a double batch or a triple batch. Make it worth your time. All right, here we go. Got a pretty little trivet. I love this thing. It was put up forever and I forgot I had it. Merry are the moments that make the holidays bright. If you've been following along, you've seen it before, but I just love it. I'll set that there for just a second. And then I have my new Christmas bowl. I've been so excited and ready to use this. Together, whoop, can y'all see it? Together is the best place to be. Look how pretty. Okay, so let's transfer this to the clean bowl. Oops, try not to make a mess like I do. All right. Ooh, drip, drip, drip. <laughs> I'm so rotten, y'all. I couldn't wait to taste it. I poured just what little bit was left in this pan into this measuring cup, and I tasted it. Mm, y'all, that is so good. We're going to take our egg whites and incorporate them into this. It didn't say to let it cool. Let me make sure. Clean bowl, soft peaks, incorporate. Yeah, it doesn't say to let this cool, but again, I don't know how you keep from cooking the egg whites. Maybe I should become a chef and research some things. Then I would know how things work. It doesn't say to fold them. It just says to incorporate them. So, <laughs> we're incorporating. Look at us go. The old church where the person made the homemade eggnog, y'all. She brought the eggnog and put it in a big punch bowl and then put a big tub of ice cream <laughs> right into the middle of it. Oh, y'all, that was the best stuff. The only thing bad about it was it wasn't enough. how pretty huh it says to let it cool in the refrigerator for several hours or better yet overnight but you can see the little specks of spices and vanilla Here you go. Yo, I made eggnog y'all can do it too if I can do it I promise you <laughs> anybody can do it I'm just a mama at home. No training whatsoever except for the school of life. And a big want to. A big want to and a big heart to do it with love. Hey, you got it made. I don't know, I can't wait. This is a lot thicker than any eggnog I've ever had. I almost need a spoon. Oh, mm, mm. y'all, I don't have socks on today, but mm, y'all, this is so good. Oh my, I don't want to wait till it cools off. Chef Jean-Pierre is a genius. <laughs> oh mm -mm. wow I don't have words 
Mm. God make you some. And just a quick note, remember how we made the gingerbread cake yesterday? That on that gingerbread cake? Oh my goodness. Two chefs, two amazing recipes. One happy chick in this kitchen. To store this, now close your eyes. I know this isn't pretty. I'm going to put this in a pitcher. This is a one gallon pitcher. And it looks like you could get away with a half gallon. But if you don't have either, just put the bowl in the refrigerator. I'm going to let it cool a little bit more on the counter, and then we'll pop it in there. Mm. I think I'm just going to stick my fingers in that bowl and lick it. <laughs> mm. 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 I don't want to wait. Warm eggnog's a thing, right? There we go, y'all. Got everything cleaned up. The eggnog's made. Now we can sit down and relax. But... As happy as this eggnog makes me, do you know what else I can be doubly happy about? If I can dance for eggnog. Thank you, Jesus, for all you did for me. This season is about you, and thank you for saving even me. Y'all, that's worth every dance that we have in us. And I thank you so much for joining me. Love it when you come and spend a few minutes with me. I love it when you leave comments down below. I love to read how you do things, your suggestions. So feel free, comment down below. If you like what you see here, I would love for you to become a new friend to the channel. Just click that um, subscribe button and that thumbs up. That thumbs up means like. You know, even my daddy didn't know that you didn't have to pay to do that. So you do not have to pay to do any of that. Just to join us, each and every time that I post a video is a blessing to me. So until we meet again, may you be blessed. Mm -hmm. I love you guys.